Hey, welcome to my video on how to create a smart motion sensor using Blink platform and ESP development board. Motion sensors are a great tool for home automation, allowing to detect movement and trigger actions, such as turning on lights or sending alerts to your phone. The best part of this project is that you don't need to spend a lot of money to have one in your home. I will show you a step by step how to build your very own smart motion sensor using Blink and ESP32. Before getting started, let's take a look at components we need. We need ESP32 development board, a PIR motion sensor, a breadboard, and some jumper wires. Of course, Blink app must be installed on your phone. Also, I use Arduino IDE to configure ESP32. Let's get started. Before that, it's good to mention that you can replace ESP32 with other development boards, such as Arduinos or ESP8266. I start with configuring Blink. First of all, navigate to blink.cloud. Then from the left menu, navigate to user profile. Make sure developer mode is enabled. Then navigate to templates. Select new template. Set a name for the template. I set its name to motion sensor template. As mentioned earlier, I'm using ESP32 in this project, so hardware is ESP32. And I want to connect it to network using Wi-Fi, so connection type is Wi-Fi. Click done. In the setting of Motion sensor template, navigate to data streams, click new data stream. Select virtual pin, set a name for it. I set its name to motion sensor int, set blue color for it. In pin section, choose virtual pin 0, data type is integer. In Advanced Settings tab, enable Sync with Latest Server Value every time device connects to the cloud. Then click Create. I need one more data stream, so click New Data Stream. Select Virtual Pin. Set a name for it. Assign Virtual Pin 1 to this data stream. Select a string as data type. In advanced setting, enable sync with latest server value every time device connects to the cloud. Then click create. After that, navigate to web dashboard. In widget box, drag label, paste it in dashboard. Open its settings, set a name for this device, or let's say this widget. In data stream, choose motion sensor, integer, the one we assigned virtual pin 0 to it. Change color based on value, I enable it. Choose red color. I choose this one. You can enable show level, minimum is zero, maximum is one. Click save. Drag LED, paste it here. You can resize the widgets. Open its settings, set a name for it. Select motion sensor integer as its data stream. Change its color to red. Click save. One more time, drag label and paste it here. Open its settings, set a name for it.
select motion sensor str as its data stream the one we assign virtual pin 1 to it then click save these three widgets are different methods of showing motion sensor status click save then navigate to search tab from the left menu click new device select from template choose the template which is motion sensor template set a name for it motion sensor then click create in this popped up window copy these lines we need them configuring our ESP development board using Arduino if you lose them by navigating to search tab selecting the device which in this project is motion sensor by navigating to device info you have them it's time to configure our ESP32 development board using Arduino IDE. This is the Arduino file to program our ESP32 to create motion sensor. You can find the link of the file to download it in description. Replace these three lines with the ones we copied in link console then enter your ssid here and its password here i'm connecting an led to the motion sensor whenever motion is detected the led is set to on or let's say turns on and when motion sensor stops detecting movement the led turns off I connect the LED to pin 22 of my development board. Connecting motion sensor to development board, I connect its pin, the output pin of motion sensor to pin 39 of development board. The only things that you have to change in these lines are The pin you want to connect the LED or any relay to it and the pin you want to connect your motion sensor to it. Also, do not forget to enter your Wi-Fi credentials in these two lines. The file is ready to be installed in ESP32 development board. Connect ESP development board to your computer using USB cable in tools tab select the port again in tools tab in board section select your development board i have already done it then in a sketch tab select upload and wait till uploading file completes uploading is done Programming ESP32 and configuring blink.console is done. Let's start wiring components. This is the motion sensor I'm using in this project. It has two potentiometer. This one is used to adjust sensitivity of PIR motion sensor, and this one is used to adjust delay time of motion detection. By removing this cover, You see this pin is VCC. It must be connected to 5 volt pin DC of development board. The middle pin is out pin. It must be connected to pin 39 of development board as we specified in Arduino. And this pin is ground, must be connected to ground pin of development board. Okay, I 
jumper ground pin to blue line of breadboard using black wire I connect ground of motion sensor to ground of development board the output pin must be connected to pin 39 of development board and the VCC pin of motion sensor must be connected to 5 volt pin DC of development board connecting the LED the longer pin must be connected to pin 22 of development board and the other pin must be connected to ground wiring is done using your smartphone navigate to the link app click wrench icon tap the motion sensor template to add widgets tap plus from the list select value display Touch it and hold it, then you can resize it. Tap on it to open its setting. Choose its data string. I choose motion sensor a string, the one related to virtual pin one. In design section, you can set a title for it. can change its color tap plus again this time select LED tap on LED icon tap data stream select motion sensor integer the one related to virtual pin 0 Navigate to design, set a title for it. And select LED color. That's it. It's time to test our motion sensor to see how it works. As you see, motion sensor is ideal. In the app, we have motion is stopped and the LED is white. Also, this LED is off. Movement is detected. Notification is sent. The LED is turned on and we have motion detected in app also the led in the app is changed to red There you have it, a fully functional motion sensor with Blink IoT platform and ESP32. With this project, you can easily integrate motion detection into your home automation system and start automating your home. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Also, if you are interested in learning more about DIY IoT projects, subscribe and press the bell button to receive every new video. In the next video, I will show you how to monitor light intensity in Blink. Thank you for watching.